I had this Buffalo Link Station Pro Duo network attached storage for quite a bit of time and this is probably at least eight years old I actually replaced a failed hard drive before that came with it and um, <clears throat> recently started to fail on me and basically the hard disk light will be always on and it happened after I tried to delete a lot of files which are recorded by the network camera so there were really really a lot of little files and this unit struggled with it and eventually it just became inoperable even though I could access the web interface I could not really uh, restructure the RAID it was configured as a RAID 0 I believe so it was mirroring and I actually had to reformat the hard drive but ever since then even after resetting the unit reformatting the hard drive you can see the hard disk light is constantly blinking I cannot format it successfully the network activity light is always blinking and after I reset it I can't even access the unit from the net network anymore as I cannot find its IP address uh, I tried all kind of methods so ignore this red light here because I had to replace the fan in the unit which also uh, is not exactly um, the, the same type of fan that was in it but it works nevertheless so the red warning light that's actually for the fan not for the other problems and so now what I'm going to try to do is since I've done everything including check the hard drives integrity on another computer using an external uh, enclosure I'm going to troubleshoot the power supply to turn off this unit there is a switch to put it on off and it's supposed to shut down the unit within a minute or less however recently this doesn't work anymore and you can see the light continues to blink in the front and uh, sometimes it will stay like this for 10 minutes without shutting down the unit and it forces me to unplug the power cord in order to shut it down. This unit has been in use for seven to eight years and it's not unusual for electronics of this age to have some kind of problem with the power supply unit. So here you can see in the main power supply you cannot uh, see any bul uh, bulging capacitors. These are all normal looking. However, they can still be uh, slowly failing or already have failed because of their age without showing some kind of obvious symptom. Uh, generally these capacitors would show a bulging top and that's an obvious sign of failure. And since I've tried all the other non-evasive solutions such as checking the hard disk, resetting the unit, as well as um, making sure the firmware is the latest I think it's worth to try to replace uh, starting with these uh, 16 volt 1000 microfarad capacitors. On my channel you can find another video that teaches you how to solder and desolder components from electronic circuit. And here I have removed these old capacitors. So these are the 16 volt 1000 microfarad made by Samsung and uh, so the new ones are made by Rubicon these are also the same value same capacitance and these are made in Japan and let's see how that works and once I powered back on surprisingly the top LED now stays solid green and not only the disk activity LED is blinking so that's a big difference from before and also the red light is gone yeah, even the fan indicator uh, remains off from any errors so let's check to see if the NAS navigator is able to find the IP address of this unit so look at that the pin gets a response every time and now the IP address is back and let's see if the NAS navigator is able to find this so I'm using the Buffalo's NAS navigator and searching for link station on the network 
And look at that. Now it shows again. Before I changed the capacitors, I could not even access the uh, net NAS unit on the network. And now it shows up like a breeze. And all I have to do now is to uh, reset the unit, reformat it, and everything should work. So the corporate came down to two faulty capacitors. And um, even though they were not obviously visible to be bulging, showing signs of uh, malfunction.